Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm the designer and architect of the Maximo BI or Business Intelligence Tools. In today's demo, I want to highlight some of the new Maximo 7.6 capability around BERT reporting. In Maximo 7.6, we've made an upgrade to BERT 431 and our prior releases supported up to BERT 371. With BERT 431, we now have additional export capabilities. And those export capabilities can be either from the report viewer, when the user chooses to export his report output to a different file format. And we've also added these new XLS export options to our scheduling and email functionality from Maximo. So as this slide shows, we have two new XLS options and XLS is typically the most asked for file format in addition to PDF. Our two new options are XLSX, which is Microsoft 2007, and we have another one called XLS Emitter. You may also hear this referred to as XLS Other or XLS Spudsoft, but basically it's an additional file type that gives you more options that we had previously. So what was our previous version? Well, currently in any release prior to Maximo 7.6, we supported XLS. The problem with XLS is that when you went to email a report in this file format, sometimes the size of the file was extremely large and that caused problems going through the SMT server. Additionally, if your report contained a graph, that graph would not always be exported to the XLS option. So again, now in Maximo 7.6, we have these two new options. They supplement our existing one. And they, as you can see here, this report I've selected is or contains a graph. So both of the newer options display the graph where the current one does not. But also what's unique about these is it takes each of the individual report pages and puts them as a separate worksheet in XLS. X, excuse me, an XLS emitter. So you're going to see a lot of capabilities that are now available. So let's get into a demo and show you exactly what this looks like, what those new export options are with Maximo 7.6 and BERT. So to speed things up, I've signed in here in Maximo 7.6 as our user Wilson, and I have a report list portlet set up with my favorite reports. And let's go execute asset measurement history. And again, I've selected this report because it has multiple pages and has multiple graphs. So the first thing I'm gonna see here is my request page. And this looks a little bit different than our ones in the prior releases, but I can come right down here and input my required parameter. But I'm gonna come down here and open up the email option so you can see those new capabilities that I mentioned. As we scroll down here, look at before Maximo 7.6, we had two file types, PDF and XLS. Now you have these additional options, XLSX, again, which is Microsoft 2007, and XLS Other, which is our Spudsoft emitter. So I'm gonna run this report immediately so you can see the differences live time in these different types of file formats. So let me click Submit and my report renders and displays in the separate report viewer. So now let me come over here in the top and imagine that I wanted to take this and export this capability. Well, you can see that my default is set as PDF and I'm gonna make myself a mental note to make sure I talk to you about that. But look what happens now when I expand my menu. These are all of the available file export options available to you in Maximo 7.6 we had a much smaller subset in previous releases. So let's go and let's run these three XLS specific ones and then we'll come back and talk about the other ones. So let's talk about XLS Microsoft Spreadsheet. This is our existing option. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and that should download it. So it's downloaded as the base information over here. My next one is going to be my emitter or my Spudsoft. So that is gonna be called number one. And I'm just gonna make myself a note so we can rename those so you're fully aware of the different options. And then my last one is 2007. And that should be called uh, number two. Oops, oh, nope, it came up in XLSX. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. So now let me go to my download folder and let's take a look at these. First one, I'm just gonna rename this 
and I'm going to call this current, or uh, I'll call it pre-76, that's a better name. XLSX, this is my emitter, so I'm going to call it the uh, other emitter, just so we again can remember this. And then real quickly, I'm just going to add 2007 to this one so we can start to see the difference. So let's look at our first one. It tells me I'm a different format. That's OK. But let's look at this. And let me go back and look at the report. The report is four pages. And the first thing I see is there's a graph on page um, one and on page three. Hmm. But when I go look at it here, there's no graph and it just puts out the details. So that's a concern. Well, let's go open up our next one, which is our emitter. Now look what happens. This is beautiful. Here's my graph on the first page, just like it is here in the viewer. And then as I navigate on the worksheet pages, see them all down here and they give me a nice information. They've taken it that it's this asset number, page two. Here's the detail. Here's 11450, which is on page three. And as I navigate there, exact same thing, perfect. So you can see this nice format. And this is, again, this is the emitter format. It's bringing over my graphs and it's retaining the format of the report. And then let's just grab that last one, XLSX 2007. And again, this is gonna be very similar to the SpudSoft or the other emitter. The graphs are displaying as I expected, and I get that wonderful, wonderful information. The other thing you might want to just look at, although this isn't really a very long and complex report, you could start to see some of the differences in the file sizes. And again, that may impact your decision as to what file format that you de determine to use. Now, the other thing I want to talk about before I leave this uh, demo for today is remember that menu when I opened it up and it looked at all these different file formats. Well, we're not sure what exact file types you enable and support in your organization. So in Maximo 7.6, we've created a dialog that you determine which one of these options you want to display. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to Report Admin. And if you haven't used the My Recent uh, Applications menu from 7.6, it's absolutely fantastic. And let's come down here and look for the action called Set Report File Export Options. This dialog enables you to determine from your report viewer which one of these options you want to display. In this case, I've selected them all, but we also give you the ability to select the default. We've heard from many clients that they want PDF as a default, but with the new options, you may want it to be XLSX, XLS, but the SpudSoft, whatever it will be, you determine exactly what your default option is. And to confirm what the default option is, is that when I come to the very top, what's that very first option that displays when my user runs a report and comes to the report viewer? The other important note about this is it's um, if I reset these options, so for example, I took PDF off as my default and I made it XLSX, I need to save this, sign out of Maximo, and actually restart the Maximo server for those new file export options to take effect. So what have we talked about today? We talked real quickly about the new options that are available here. I showed you the three XLS options. We talked about this dialog and how you can configure it to meet your individual needs. You can set the default options and you can determine which file export options are available and are not available to your user. And I also highlighted the request page and where these two new XLS options are available to you. So a lot of new exciting features in Maximo 7.6. So I thank you very, very much for your time.